fucking year. Rub, rub, rub. Got to work. Black in the hood. I forever for music TV. I eat my story. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Business. No matter of glory. Fest the jewelry. Don't you hurry. Don't you worry. Just tell the story. We rap the game to rap like I can beat it. It's my hip hop story. Yo, yo. Yeah. Yeah, what up, yo? You're welcome to another edition of my hip hop story. I'm your boy Johnny Ray, aka Black and aka Black Ama. Today, I'm chilling with my man Feku at Yaba College of Technology. You know, you can see students all around having fun. That's what it is, yo. Eternity, humility over vanity, having sex for insanity, yeah. Weird, but that makes you a genius. Pattern me if I sound delirious. I'm on the verge of greatness. Bad ballets allowed, you can hate me. Hey, this fell out my side. So, MC Feco, let the people get to know you, what you really do. Your course that you studied here and your love for hip hop, how it all started. Yeah, what's happening? It's your boy Feko, the MC. Um, straight out here in Yabatek. I'm representing Biological Science Department. I have some of my goons with me, you know. My homeboy Tumiche, he's also a comedian. Yeah, yeah, this is your boy MC Tum Tum in the building. That's what's up. So, um, hip hop for me basically started as far back as 2005. You know, that was like um, 10 years ago. I grew up listening to the likes of Tribesmen, The Tribes, LD. LD actually, as an artist, you know, played a major, a significant role, you know, in inspiring me and all that. You know, I, I grew up listening to him and I'm happy that he has evolved over the years. I myself as an artist have evolved over the years. Um, Mode 9, Terry the Rap Man, um, M.I. Abaga, you know, and coming to the new school cats too, you know. Um, I don't want to mention their names though, but they all inspired me. Yeah, you know. So hip hop in Nigeria has really, really grown, you know, as far back as remedies, um, plenty nonsense and all that. But right now, I think um, there are a lot of new cats that have emerged and they are doing pretty well for themselves. What I'm interested in, you mentioned, you mentioned the Nigerian influences, you know. What about the foreign influences and where will you place the kind of rap you do? Um, let me, a point of correction. Yeah, I'm new school. You know, I appear to be new school, but I've been around since 2005. That's, yeah. 10 years, man. <laughs> it's all good. You know, however, um, the foreign hip hop scene too has inspired me, you know, to a, to a good um, level. Um, Jay Z is one of my influences. Giga, Nas, you know the Illmatic album, um, Notorious B.I.G., um, a whole lot of them. You know, and coming to the African scene too, the likes of Kanan. You know, as a matter of fact, somebody I am quoting someone in Hip Hop World magazine. The guy said, um, kind of like the Nigerian version of Kanan. You know, waving the Nigerian flag. You know, the same way Kanan was waving the Nigerian flag for Somalia and all that. You know, so. Yeah, Jay Z, Nas, Talib Kweli, Lupe Fiasco, all these guys have really inspired me a great deal. Okay, um, I try as much as possible not to label myself as a conscious rapper, you know, because exactly, exactly, you know, because they try to box all these guys, and I don't want to be boxed. I'm not, a, I'm, I'm not a Christmas gift, so I don't want to be boxed. You know what I mean? So, um, yeah, I, I'm versatile, you know, with my flows, with my choice of topics. Um, if you if listen to my EP, the art EP, you notice I talked about so many things. Um, women empowerment. I talked about um, African unity. 
I talked about child soldiers in Africa. That's another thing. I mean, maybe in Nigeria we are not experiencing that, but outside the shores of Nigeria, uh -huh, we are experiencing stuff like that too. So yeah, once in a while I talk about this conscious topic. At the same time, I try to be um, playful. Yeah, you know, I have a wedding song, you know, titled Final. It's not like I'm trying to get married anytime soon, no, but you know, it's one of those things. I'm I'm quite versatile. I'm sorry, high. The sky is ground zero, that's where I'ma blow up. Your last second, hold up. Right. Hold Some up. satellite gon' fall up. Your head least they watch up and know where to dock y'all. Won't be nice if your heart cost you call it was of love until you get up, up. High. I'm way up, I feel blessed. Who cares if you got now, I got next. And the next after, next after, next after, next. Uh. All right, Feko, let's get to know more about the album art, Afrobeat Rhythm, and what's the truth behind the album. Yeah. I like the way you broke it down, you know. ART stands for Afrobeat Rhythm and Truth, like you said. Um, it was inspired by Fela Nicola Kokuti. I also grew up listening to Fela, you know, and um, once Fela inspires you as an artist, definitely, you know the outcome has to be dope. It has to be something conscious, exactly. You know, so most of the songs on the on the EP, they talk about, like I said earlier, um, women empowerment, the social ills in the society, um, child soldiers, African unity, you know, and all that stuff, you know. So I actually wanted to do um, a hip hop project, you know, that has a little bit of our culture, our own sound in, in it, you know, the indigenous sound exactly, like what Josie is doing in South Africa. Um, there's this song titled Motherland. They sampled a little bit of Kwaito and hip hop in it, you know. So I want when people listen to our own hip hop, they know, oh, this is from Nigeria. And trust me, Afrobeat is massive outside, you know, globally. So um, on the EP, I had the likes of um, Mode 9 on it. I had um, Flowetry, I had Maka, I had um, Calligraph Jones from Kenya. Calligraph is doing, you know, very well right now in Kenya. I had um, O Star from Zambia. I had a whole lot of people. I had Mode 9 too. Producer Texilla produced the EP entirely from track one to the ninth track. Everything was produced, mastered, and mixed by Texilla. We, yeah, we recorded at Chalk City Studio. You know, once in a while we're just shuffling studios and all that. But we thank God the EP is out there. You can get it on SoundCloud, soundcloud.com forward slash this is Feco, or simply log on to my website, um, this is Feco.com to get the EP. Yo, Tech, you crazy for this one, man. <laughs> yeah. You're welcome back to my hip-hop story. It's your boy, Johnny Ray, hanging out with Feko. You know, Feko, there's something I noticed about hip-hop art, especially those across Africa, you know. You notice the fusion of their own country sound into their hip-hop like the Ghanaian, Ghanaians you can hear what they do go to South Africa you can hear what they do coming down here to Nigeria why is it that we just like to just some artists just like to do some beats straight off from Yankees and all that but you especially with the song Fela Must Try strictly Afrobeat mixed with hip-hop why do you think most many artists run from this okay well um, to answer that question straight up I think um, the world is looking at Africa for inspiration right now and I feel when they start hearing new things they'll get inspired you know to sample our own music you know it should be the, exactly you know we need more of that it shouldn't just be Jay-Z we need more people we need to hear like a Lupe fiasco on an Afrobeat you know joint and all that so that was the first thing that you know crossed my mind how can I inspire the world with my music you know so I thought of it and I felt okay fine Afrobeat is one of the biggest genre out there in Nigeria and fusing it with hip-hop will be creative and if done perfectly well I mean 
people would love it and it would get a lot of global recognition. So that was the first thing that I actually put into consideration. And secondly, I also wanted to do something different. You know, I was tired of the same um, listening to the same old, same old um, songs. You know, boom bap and all. That. I do boom bap too. You know, but once in a while, I actually wanted to put out something. Yeah, diversify. You know, so that was it for me, really. Why an EP and not an album? Because I believe you go through the same sweat. I mean, the same energy, the same three verses, the same production time and cost. Because over here in Nigeria, it's a little bit different. Most artists don't have their own studio where they record. You know, you pay for studio time and all that. Why decide to do an EP and not an album? EP means extended play. Some I know it as electric package. <laughs> you know. However, I actually did it because I wanted to put out the project. Then I wanted the fans to pick out that very song, you know, that's like their favorite song. From there, you'll be able to know, okay, this song is going to make the album. This one will be shuffled or this one will, be, will make the next album and all that. So basically for me, why I put out the EP was for the fans to choose what songs would make the album. And so far, um, songs like Felamos Rise, which has a video, you know, a lot of people like that song. Um, the one with Mode 9 too. And um, there's a song titled La Dubomi. It's, it's, a, it's a, yeah, La Dubomi, pardon my Yoruba. I'm actually Igbo, you know. So, yeah, those songs are some of my fans' favorite, and they love it, you know, so, yeah. <laughs> No matter glory, first be jewelry Don't you hurry, don't you worry Just tell the story We rap the game to rap like that can be it It's my hip hop story, yo yeah. Huh. One they pull the work now, love later. Checkbooks of a love ladders. Emotion is a heartbreaker. Feeling sucks, can't data. Rather fuck with money, better pay me what you owe me. When it's time for beast, no homies. Please stop acting like you know me. You're a phony if the money goes. Where the honey stays. Shout is a loyal. Shap, shap, beg or relocate. I leave okay. With my family, I don't need no fake. Group love to feel a great. Got Scott B, he's awake. Yeah, mom. You surely go build your dream school. The vision of yours gon' pop through. Should buy your car and house too. I'm thankful. Ha. To my just who got my back through. The pepper go rest, not fruits. I'm talking the war and house. I don't know. But in due time, this house is gonna pay up. You show me die, I win like psychic way they play. What to when you play up? Be cold the king, cool to dance. Hustle over, fill a system. Yeah, what up, yo? My hip hop story with Feko. You know what it is, yo? Still, that fella must rise. Let's go a little deep into that song. Because, you know, wordplay, to me, it's like saying a fella, which we can use for any brother or guy out there, must rise. You know what I'm saying? And you can also say fella must rise. You know, fella, though dead and buried physically, but it still lives on. You know what I'm saying? So, what's the wordplay like? What's the concept behind that song, fella must rise? Um, I get this question a lot, you know, during interviews, and you said it all. You know, it means two things. It's it's a pun. You know, there was a wordplay there. I was talking about fella, as you know, the Afrobeat legend, and I was talking about fella as myself. You know, so it's not about the resurrection of fella. It's actually about my anticipated thing. You know, like this fella must rise. At some point, I'm going to rise. I've paid my dues. It's gonna take a little while, but you know, get ready for me because I'm coming out, you know, and all that. At the same time, I was also paying homage to fella Nicola Kokuti, and that was why we shot the video at um, the new African shrine. And uh, it was crazy. I mean, the troubles, man, you know. But the thing about the shrine is they have a street code, they don't mess with the street code, man. I, the street code is they don't they can't steal your stuff. If your stuff gets stolen, it's gonna um, it's gonna get returned back to you. You know, I mean they show you love, but at the same time you gotta show them love back. You know that's it. I remember um, when we were shooting, we used the drone. Um, the drone fell down, 
and those guys were like yo your drone fell down because you refused to settle us the gods of the shrine are angry with you you know you need to do the needful and all that but it's all good you know it was fun shooting at the shrine and shout out to my director um samurai he works with clarence peters too you know shout out to him he's someone you should look out for akd um the myth um r cube and you know them all all of them and look out for them yeah about future projects now the album now since you've been hearing feedback from your fans you know what kind of what genres of music should we be expected same old as the ep or and which other artists will you be collaborating with nigerian artists let us let it know or something like that yeah uh yeah the album basically is going to be more versatile you know the album is going to have some hip-hop tracks in it the album is going to have some i life songs in it and afro beads expects nothing short of good music you know and as for features um yeah for now i think of working with some people like mode nine i've already i have a song with mode nine already but this time around i want to work with some you know r b artists you know um um one day call yeah maybe i don't know probably because he's from mushin too i'm from mushin i represent mushin he's one of the best vocalists you know out there you know burnout boy you know those two people are like the two artists i have in mind right now I'm sorry, high. The sky is ground zero, that's where I'ma blow up. Your NASA can hold up, right? Hold Some up. satellite go fall up, your head leaves, they watch up, and nowhere to dock, y'all. Won't be nice if your heart cost you thought it was up, love, until you get up, up, high. I'm way up, I feel blessed. Who cares if you got now, I got next. All right, you're welcome back to my hip-hop story on Alpha River Music TV. Still hanging out with Feko, on the premises of Yaba College of Technology. You know, there's something flying around. Uh, you, Vector, you know, let's clear the air. First and foremost, I'd like to say um, beef is healthy, you know. At the same time, yeah, it's good to be a vegetarian and all that. But really, I'm not a fan of beef, you know. I'm not a fan of beef. I mean, there was a time some rappers actually took shot at me and I didn't even reply and all that. You know, so the, I, I made a certain song and there was this certain line um, I dropped and VC actually thought I was taking shots at him. And I'd like to say this for the first time, you know, let the people, oh, the line. Okay, uh, well, those people that have actually listened to the song know the line. And it, I said something like, okay, even if you freestyle for 24 hours, lyrically, you're still a baby. Yo, sometimes I freestyle for 24 hours at home, you know. I, I didn't mention anybody's name, you know, but the fans took it out of context. They started tweeting at VEC and from there, you know, I mean, he thought I was actually dissing him and stuff. Yo, VEC, I would like to say this to you, man. I wasn't dissing you, you know. I'm actually saying this now. And some people said I, I, I feel scared, you know, because it's going to come at me. I, I used to be a battle MCO. You know, like, yeah, I, I still, I, I mean, I still got it, man. I still got it, you know. I still got it. So, I mean, battling rappers is, is not my fault, yeah. If you come at me, I'll come at you straight up, you know. But as far as I'm concerned, I didn't diss Vector, you know, on the track. And that's just about it. You see, big shout out, your big dog. The King Kong himself, you know what I'm saying? No shots, no nothing, you know, one love in the industry. But I do like beef straight up. <laughs> any day, any time. Wow. Now we got to go into your art. And now I'm not talking about the album. You know, you have this comic episode I do see on social media. Tell us about it and let's get to know what inspired it and where you take it into. Um, the title of the comic is um, Adventures of Mazi Feko. It's a, a comic series, you know, that delineates our tradition, you know, as Nigerians, especially from Eastern Ninja. Uh, Mazifeko is one Igbo, sarcastic character, you know, that Igbo boy, exactly, no Iblis, you know what I mean? You know, and he's funny, you know, he's somebody that is just um, blunt. He doesn't, I mean, he just says it the way it is. He doesn't sugarcoat things and all that so yeah it's it's hilarious i mean if you want to check it out 
Exactly, exactly. It's my alter ego. The way we have Terry the Rap Man, Joe Spazim, um, Slim Shady, Eminem, and all that. You know, mine is Mazi Feko. And um, yeah, if you want to check out the comic series, you just search for Mazi Feko on Google or you check out my Instagram page, Mazi Feko. Feko is spelled F E um, C K O. Yeah, I exact. I do it myself. I'm also into digital art, you know, yeah. I come up with the storyline, I come up with a sketch, I come up with a, you know, the whole concept, really, yeah. Oh, you got is proof, stick and stupid, this industry got politics and fool. No cash, no love, the crates, the corrupt. If everybody be boss, then who's putting the work? Whether you're dope, right, or blow grammar. If you don't work, one hammer. Has a bit skill, a skill doesn't cost in no time. Ha, um, how to do that, Shucky had flip. Not only rhyming, you not say, though, do you carry fam dip? Huh? Hustle, hustle, hustle over Phyllis. Hustle, hustle, hustle over Phyllis. Hustle, hustle, hustle over Phyllis. So we grinding every day. See that mula talk silly. Invest in your dreams, keep up the grind, you gon' sh- Yo, still your boy John Ray on my hip hop stories. Been a wonderful time here in the Abba College of Technology. Guess what? I also attended this school, man. So, uh, an alumni, you know what I'm saying? That's what it is, straight up, yo. Yeah. Don't worry, don't go nowhere. Same time next week, I'm bringing you another African. Art, yeah. A R T. <laughs> so go get the EP anywhere. Download iTunes anywhere. Just search for F E C K O. That's what it is, yo. Bless. Eyes on me, get them on the ground. I be dead, mama, mama. I stay fly like a pterosaur. You go extinct. I cannot, cannot. Got longevity. Originality, traps till eternity, humility over vanity, having said for insanity, yeah. Weird, but that makes you a genius. Pattern me if I sound delirious. I'm on the verge of greatness. Bad ballet's allowed, you can hate me. Hey, this fell I must rise. This fell I must rise. Hey, this fell I must rise. This fell I must rise. This fell I must rise. Yo, this fella the rise, I'm pooty, levitating, no debating, I'm next rated, not waiting, while they're hitting, I'm raising the bar, innovating, Afrocentric rhythm and rap, lyrical painting, it's not the same thing, it's spitting rhymes that are empty, flows deeper than seabeds, forget basins, even says smile, just know it's groundbreaking, I'm taking the math of the bar, it's on, you get me? Whoa, salut for legend in the making. Yo, it's your boy Feko, the MC, on my hip hop story with Johnny Ray. That's what's up. This fella must rise. This fella must rise. Hey, hey, hey. This fella must rise. This fella must rise. Hey, hey. This fella must rise. This fella must rise. Hey, hey. This fella must rise. This fella must rise. This fella must rise. Yes, sir. Yo, Tech, you crazy for this one, man. <laughs> yeah. When you are revolutionary, and you talk the truth, the people will come and you. Begin! Rub, rub, rub! Got the road! Black in the hole! I'm for real for music TV! I eat my soul, yeah! No matter glory, face the jury Don't you hurry, don't you worry Just tell the story Who up the game to rap like I can beat it It's my hip-hop story, yo, yo.